back. Now we are joined in the Harvey Norman Lounge by Dr. Francis Pitsillis, who is here to share with us what facial pigmentation is caused by and what we can do to reduce it. Morning, Francis. Morning, Mel. So what exactly is melasma or uh, stubborn pigmentation? It's not the pigmentation that you get from freckles or from sun. See, that's what I thought it was. Yeah. So I'm glad you ruled that out. Or from ageing. You know how older people get yeah. a dark brown, you know, they get a Patches brown. Patches dark brown on their they skin. They get brown and red. Mm -hmm. No, this is different. This is often across the nose and cheeks, yeah. and it's a deep browny grey pigmentation. Oh, we've got some pictures of it there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, that's melasma from the internet. And... It, it's more common in people with darker skin than mine. So I'm Mediterranean. Right. So we're talking about Indian, Hispanic, Maori, you know, darker skins, and they tend to get it more. So it's quite common and comes from the inside out. Yes. It's more related to internal health, but can also be affected by sun, environment, and mm. drugs. So how can, can it be mistaken for anything else? Yes, it can, and I think th uh, that... If you've gone to a clinic and they are looking at you and thinking this isn't quite right, you should go to the doctor because sometimes it can be due to drugs, antibiotics, steroids, and sometimes it can be due to unusual conditions including autoimmune conditions. Okay, mm. so if you've got melasma uh, and the, the pigmentation, obviously it's uh, not going to harm you health-wise, but it's a look that you might want to treat? Yes. Now. It's more common in women, about 40% of Asian women and 20% of Asian men. But many women get this during pregnancy and they call it the mask of pregnancy. Mm. And when, it, when you can't get rid of it, it is very distressing for that person. And people look for, they go to lots of places trying to get relief for their problem. So how can you actually treat it from the inside then? Now, it is important to treat it from the inside because a lot of it is from internal health and remember, sk the skin is the biggest organ in your body. What's important about it is to keep yourself completely healthy as much as you mm -hmm. can, correct any imbalances, have the right diet and have a look at whether you've got any hormone imbalance like an underactive thyroid. Which is quite common, isn't it? It's co yeah. quite common and can cause pigmentation. A lot of stress. Believe it or not, stress causes pigmentation. Stress causes everything bad for Well, you. it does, actually. <laughs> and, um, you know, lack of antioxidants. You've had so many health problems that it's used up your antioxidants. And, of course, it all comes out in your skin. So what sort of diet should you be looking at? Well, guess what? The best diet researched is the Mediterranean diet with soy and green tea. Okay, and why is that? That's because collectively it gives you so many antioxidants, including in the vegetables and the tomato paste, the lycopene, which is really good for your skin, um, and th all these plant-based antioxidants will help to reduce the oxidation and inflammation in your skin. Wow. And the diet gives you an SPF of four. That's incredible. Also, yes. delicious, which is yes. the thing around the Mediterranean <laughs> diet is really great. Yes. So what can you treat it with cream-wise? You've brought some things okay, in. Okay, so after the inside, yep. it's creams. Well, you need to go berserk, berserk, berserk with sunblock, sunblock, sun, right. like, like several times a day. We should be doing that all the time. Yes. Yeah. Then in the morning, you yeah. want to put your antioxidant serum, which often can include vitamin C, and you put that on before your sunblock. Right. Then your makeup with hopefully some S SPF More as well. More SPF, got right. it. Right. Um, twice a day, you use your special pigment breaking up uh, cream, which also stops pigmentation forming. So it's a skin lightening cream. And does that come and from a clinic? It comes from a clinic. Mm -hmm. And the best ones stop the pigmentation at, at every stage of production. Right. You have to do that. Now, before you put any of the evening creams on, here is a cream that you can get from your GP. It's a quite a potent vitamin A derived cream. Now you see the brand name there, but the real name is tretinoin. Mm -hmm. And vitamin A goes to the nucleus in the skin cell and says, you behave normally. Okay. So it reduces pores, wrinkles, 
and red and brown pigment. So I call this the miracle cream. Right, so you get a whole lot right? of things as well. So you put your miracle cream on first, your vitamin A derived cream. Right, and just quickly, what have we got the and last one? And your antioxidant. Okay. Okay, so there's quite a lot, isn't there's there? There's a lot to remember. Unfortunately. But I guess the best thing we can do, Francis, if we want more information, is head to your website. Yes, we could. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, if you want more of those tips, her website is skinfresh.co.nz. Thank you.